Hey, so I'm doing the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil 35 Color Press Pigment Palette Eyeshadow for 10 looks, one palette. There's a lot of colors in here, so I'm just gonna run down them quickly. Pinks are okay. This row, the second row is okay. This row is okay. This is my favorite color in the palette here, this little bronze color down here. Um, so that tells you how good the palette's gonna be. This row is not good. This row is not good. I don't like um, really any of the blues except for these two up here. And then the purples are horrendous. This color down here, because there's like a sheen to it, but I just think it's an overlay. It's like a really not nice color. The black has so much fallout, I can't even put it into words. And this color is like hardly noticeable. So frankly, I really don't like this palette. This has got to be probably, yeah, this is the worst one that I've done for 10 looks one palette and I feel really bad saying that because if you look at this, this is beautiful. But I think the people who are enjoying this are, maybe they're sponsored by BH Cosmetics, maybe they're sniffing glue. I don't know, but I want some of what they're on because this is not good in my opinion. Pretty much all of them aren't good except the pinks and that bronze color I mentioned and those two blues. Those are really the only colors I like. Uh, you'll see, I'm going to do a voiceover for this Two Looks One palette and you'll see in, or you'll hear in that voiceover the looks that I had like a lot of struggle with. I never have a hard time doing looks, but there was a couple that I couldn't salvage and I wanted to take them off and do them again. But I thought to myself, like, you guys should see the shit that this is producing. You know what I mean? So anyway, I really hope you guys like the video. I'm sorry for the negativity. That's not normally me, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe. I hope you share the video. Have a great day. Bye. So all it took for me to use of that one light color was this and I realized it was shit. I don't mind this look but as you could see I wasn't super interested in the color payoff or the blendability. That one like didn't show up at all and I was confused. I was like where is it? There's no added depth even though it was significantly darker and then you see that blue is kind of like ashy it's not giving a punch you know what I mean and then I just pointed there to the uh, patchiness of that color and then we will go into this purple look there's a purple look I'm not sure if it's this one but there's one where you can see a massive like chunk out of my shadow because it's patchy. So you'll see that soon. Once again, loving that corner color. <laughs> you can kind of see how patchy it is there too. Not, this isn't the look I'm talking about, but you can kind of see how even blending it is not doing it any justice. I was turning up in this video, so don't mind me dancing around. My hair looks like it gets messier and messier because the bitch was head, bang head banging, you know me. I don't remember this look. What look was this? Oh, yes like okay but we're gonna put that orange all over the lid and then I saw how patchy that was and then I decided to use this red color and then you see me pointing there to the patchiness again kind of pissing me but whatever you could see the patchiness in that photo as well too 
but see like the pinks are okay. This was a look that I didn't mind. I don't normally do halo eyes because I find that it gives me a sickly vibe, but I do them for these videos because I like to show versatility and what these shadows can do. This is where I realized I like the bronze color. And then one thing I like to do, if I don't have a darker color to darken up the outer edge, what I do is I take a black and then I'll put the lid color that I used. Okay, so I'll take the black, put it on the outer corner like I'm doing right here. See how dusty that is? So I put that right there. You'll see all of the fallout there. Sick. And then you put the lid color over top of the black and it gives a deeper color to the lid bronze color. So I was kind of liking this look. This look was probably my favorite and it sucks because it's my favorite out of a rainbow palette and that's like unheard of. I did like that blue. As you can see, I was pretty happy with that. Thought there was a lot of color payoff. This is another look I didn't mind, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly. But at this point, I was really getting fed up with the palette. Like, I was really, like nervous to dip into other colors because I'm thinking not dip into it I hate that I was nervous to use other colors because I was thinking how shit are these gonna be and it's gonna discourage me because you spend your hard-earned money on it you know what I mean oh I think this is it I think this is the shit one Yes, yeah, so you could see me like trying to pile on and every time I put my hand down, I put on more, I put on more, I put on more and it was never working. And then you like, I blended it out and then it would just be gone. So I would put more on and then I would blend it again and it'd be gone. I'm thinking like, how am I going to get this to stick? This was really where I started like, it was really pissing me. You could see here, but you know that ain't gonna stop a bitch from rocking out, you know? But you can see here, there's a massive hole in the pigment on the outer corner. Hates it. I, oh my God, this was another look that just drove me up the fucking wall. So I used this red in the crease and I'm like, uh, okay and then I take the black because I'm thinking I'm going to do the method I did earlier where I make the red a darker red and I'm going to use the color under the red that I just used so I'm thinking okay all this effing follow and then I use that red color there here we go bitch here comes the fuckery where it at where the motherfucking pigment I ain't seen no color on my lid. And bitch, at this point, I'm pressing. I'm going down. I'm getting so much. I'm pressing. I'm pressing. And as you can see, like, nothing is showing up. I hope you're ready for the most dramatic pause in a makeup tutorial ever. Every time I cry, you ain't wipe my eyes. When it all sits, you won't find my side. The only thing you do is it made me wise. So I guess it's all.
Oh my god, that kills me. I was really figuring out how to salvage this and I couldn't. I was listening to Tila Tequila Paralyze. Does anyone miss when Tila Tequila wasn't a psycho? Because I really do. And she's a really big psycho. Your majesty and it's bound to be a travesty Ain't none of the bitches bad as me Sleeping beauty fast asleep Sip on the own, I run this out The rest you hoes just run your mouth Every single day I smoke up How you hoes still chipping on an ounce Tragic, how I'm super duper bad with it Savage, how a beast get on this mic Feeling off with a fucking head If I don't think I like her really 50 sick on by rich bitch I'ma die killing The same old lame Humpty Dumpty Bumpty hoes The gold rap queen Kiss clothes blunt roll See I'm the baddest So you hoes can have a seat I had to serve you guys two verses because I wanted to make myself feel better about my video being shitty. And I was really making myself feel better, bitch. I was having a good ass time. So this is the look where I was really feeling like 80s fruit gushers, fruit by the foot... What else was I feeling? Like sour candy, nerds, warheads, you know, love candy, loves it. So I was just feeling like that with this look. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, I put a lot of work into these, so I really hope you share it. Have a great day and thanks so much. Bye.